Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today is just going to basically be like a haul slash review video. And um, I'm probably gonna, going to do another video later on um, with my hits and misses for um, the month of October and also, um, I guess, the first week of November. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, basically, uh, yesterday I went to Nordstrom Rack because I had to go get a gift for my friend's birthday, uh, which, uh, which her birthday is tomorrow. I'm just going to say happy birthday to her. Happy birthday, Julie. Um, so, <laughs> anyways, yeah. So, I was looking for a gift, and she loves makeup, so I was first looking at um, some makeup that they had there. But then um, I saw a gift box set, which was really nice looking as well. And it comes with the purity items. I'm sorry, the purity items. Um, the philosophy items. And basically, it has the face wash, the facial cleanser. And it's a really decent size. It's the 8 fluid ounces. And it also comes with the micro delivery exfoliating wash. Like here. And um, this one's 4 fluid ounces. And it also comes with hope in a jar. This and this one is 1 ounces. And this is seriously my first time trying out. Well, I actually had a little sample of um, hope before, but it was hope in a tube. And I did really like that, but that was like an oil-free one. And now that um, it's going to be winter, my face is getting really dry. So I actually need to, um, I guess it's good for me that I just get a regular hope in the jar. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, I actually don't have the box with me. Um, I think I threw it away last night because I knew there was going to be no exchange whatsoever. And also including in that included in that box comes with two little samples, one for eye cream and um, I actually forgot what the other one was for, but um, yeah, it's somewhere upstairs in my room, um, and I'm really, really in love with this, um, the Micro Deliver Exfoliating Wash. It's really good. Basically, all you have to do is just, um, you know, on a slightly damp face, you just kind of um, rub it in just a little piece size, just rub it in for about only 30 to 40 seconds. So you don't have to like, you know, keep doing it and irritate your skin or anything like that. And I think if your face just feels so good after, and this product does not break me out at all. Like, that's what I love about it. And usually um, with creams, I'm, my face, and my, I mean my skin is really, really sensitive, but it's, this is pretty good to me so far. But I will, of course, um, see how it, you know, it's going to be for another like couple weeks and I'll probably do another review about it later on. But I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, in the box you'll see that um, it says the original price for this was 60, I guess $65, but then it was reduced to, the box set was reduced to 46 or 44 but I actually got these three for $29.99, which I think is a really, really good price. So if you guys have a Nordstrom Rack near you guys, do check these out. Okay, the next one is, I think most of the products that I bought um, this past couple weeks have been because of YouTube. Um, I heard just, oh, that's just my phone. Um, I got a text. Anyways, um, so basically I heard so many people on here on YouTube trying on, uh, it's actually my first time, I'm sorry, I keep going back and forth, but it's my first time ever using and buying a drugstore foundation, and I'm so, so happy that I did, um, because this is seriously, like, really, really great. I will definitely repurchase this, and this one is the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. If you guys have not tried this, please do. If you guys do not know your uh, color, just, you know, do what I did, kind of do your research on YouTube. I just watched a lot of, um, YouTubers that have, like, similar skin tone as I do, and whatever they're using, I tried it out, and it really seriously works great, and, um, it's one ounces, and there's a little pump right here, and this one has, seriously, like, a sheen to it. You can see 
little tiny sparkles like later on after. Um, and it's just really great. I'm just going to pump like a little bit like that and just show you guys how easily this blends. And it's just like cover, the cover just really great as well. And I just love it. And a lot of people are saying that this is seriously equivalent to Makeup Forever's HD foundation. And I personally own that foundation. I have it right here somewhere. Well, and I definitely say it's very, very comparable to that. Um, I believe if you go to Rite Aid or CVS, this is anywhere from $13.99 to $14.99. But if you go to Target, um, it should be around $10.99 or so. Um, well, I had um, this little special thing that CVS had, and you were able to get like $5 CVS bucks, which I got, and um, I went ahead and got this, but it was actually like $13.99 where I got it, so I still had to pay about close to $10 for this, but um, I think it's seriously such a great price, but of course, watch out for all the sales, because uh, I think a couple of days ago I saw at CVS or Rite Aid, um, they had buy one, get one 50% off. If you already use Revlon, Revlon products, it's, I think, a really good idea to, you know, go ahead and try this and get whatever else uh, you normally buy for 50% off or something. So, very happy about that. Um, I heard also a massive rave about uh, Revlon's Primrose color. I seriously have been on a hunt for this color, and I finally have it, so I'm really happy that I do. Um... I guess the only place that always carries it and pretty much is in stock would be Rite Aid, but when I went, this was like the only one left, and they had it under the editor's pick section, and I'm so glad um, they had it. I think I paid $7.99 for it, um, which is not that bad, and it's like a nice little pinky color, pinky purple color, but I actually have it on my lips right now, but you can't really tell because I know my camera is super bad. But, um, yeah, that's that. I'm, actually, yeah, I got this yesterday, last night, um, right before I went to ride, uh, right before I went to Nordstrom Rack. And so, yeah, I actually did spend quite a bit of money there. Um, I also wanted to try out, once again, huge raves on YouTube. Um, the Maybelline Mineral Power... And I also got the Maybelline's, um, God, this one is like Stay Fit or something, or Fit Me, um, concealer. And, um, I'm not, I think maybe this color here was a little, a little bit too light for me. But this one I think is perfect. I got this in Sand Sable, and I seriously think this is perfect for my skin. Ivory maybe a little bit too light for me. But, um, I still kind of use it in, you know, used in certain dark spots to conceal, and it actually worked fine. Um, I went to Rite Aid, and Maybelline products were 40% off, so I got these for about, like, $4, $3 each, so it was pretty good. And so far, I'm actually really happy with it. And, um, also at CVS, I mean, I'm sorry, I keep messing up today. And even though I messed up, I can't really do anything because I just barely got my laptop fixed and I don't have the whole editing stuff in my laptop. But anyways, long story. Well, and I also picked up some of the Maybelline lipsticks. This one is in Yummy Plummy. And the color is nice little purplish, burgundy-ish color. I don't know. It's like nice mauve color. I love it. The only thing I don't like about Maybelline lipstick, it has this smell. I don't like the smell at all. I don't know. I don't like it. What I do like, I love the Revlon one. I don't think it smells at all. Actually, there's totally no scent to this, which I love. Like, I could seriously eat my lipstick up and it'll be fine because I can't even taste it. Um, the next color I got was, it's called Pick Me Up. And seriously, I was trying to look for the Revlon's, um, what is that, the lip butters, but I could not find it. I guess maybe they are being all sold out or something. So, it kind of pissed me, uh, pissed me off. Um, 
this one is. Yeah, the Pink Me Up. It's right there. I love all these colors that I got. I'm happy with my purchases. And um, I also heard this from Holly Anari. I'm not sure if I said it right. But I watched her on YouTube and she um, talked about this Wet n Wild um, blush. And this one is in the color Bar de Joie. Um, I guess that's what the color is. But it's like a little pinky rosy color. And um, she talked about how pigmented this uh, blush is. And I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks. Even though how suck my camera freaking sucks like hell. You can kind of still see it, but I did come from work, so I'm all nasty, and it's already been well over 14 hours since I put my makeup on, so sorry for the nastiness. And you can just see how pigmented this blush is, like seriously, really, really pigmented. Like I'm just going to swipe it across, and you see, you can just totally see how pigmented it is. Um, you just have to really just dab it a little with your brush and just kind of, you know, just, you just need one swipe on your cheeks, that's all you need, and later on just try to blend it in as well as you can because it kind of can get a little, um, I'm, uh, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but blotchy, is that the word? Anyways, um, so you just have to be careful and just blend it in really, really well. Um, I got couple blushes and bronzer um, I got I got some Milani products which I'm a little bit disappointed I heard so much about Luminoso but I couldn't find it and so I decided to go for Soleil which maybe have might have been a mistake for me because it's just way way too um, shimmery like I mean I think it's just such a great size product and everything and I wish they had Luminoso, but they didn't. And it's super, it is really, really pigmented as well. Really bronzy color. As you can see, um, it's right there. It's light, but you can't really see the shimmer um, from my camera. Um, I, like I said, I just wish they had the other color because I heard that other one is way more matte. And uh, lately I've been into that. And uh, I don't even know why I got this one. Oh, I think because somebody also talked about this. And this one is Dolce Pink. And this one is, once again, way too shimmery for me. But I use it as my um, eyeshadow. And I really, really love it. See how shimmery that is? It's just so pretty, though. Really, really pretty color. Gonna see if I can watch somewhere in between it's right there it's just really really nice though so I'm not going to complain about it because I am using it even though it's just for eyeshadow or I'll just kind of lightly just pat it on my cheeks just for a little nice glow but that's about it um, next product from Milani I got the liquify and I seriously love this this is just so great like I just kind of put on my eyes I'm not I'm just gonna show you guys real quick it's just really really good I, I, know, I probably look really retarded right now but I love it it's great it's super black it's like jet black and it's something that I've been looking for and I all you know I like pencil forms better and I used to have the 24-7 Urban Decay. I have no clue where the hell it went, and I just bought it like a month ago, and I'm so pissed off. I don't want to spend $18 again, so I went ahead and spent this one for like $7 or $8, I believe, but they had a little special, like, buy one Milani product and get the other one half off or something, so that's why I purchased it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and show you, I'm pretty sure I... Maybe did show you guys this one already. It's the MAC color in Breath of Plum. Maybe I did. I'm really not sure, so I'm just going to show it to you guys again. I got this maybe like two weeks ago. And this is the color. It's like, um, I thought it was going to be more like plummy for reals. Like, 
kind of purpley, but it's actually really rosy, and I do have a color like this already, so I'm not like so crazy about it. And I also went to Nordstrom Rack a couple weeks ago, and um, I got this one, Jane. And I, the reason I got this was because maybe I thought it was it going to be a dupe, so maybe it is a dupe. I'm not sure, because I don't use it as much. But this one is like really, really soft because this is um, I don't know why. Ha it's just really soft, seriously. Yeah. But anyways, I mean I use it, so I like it. I don't. I'm not gonna complain about it. And I really do have a feeling I did show this before, for some reason. Um, if I could just find that one other lipstick that I bought, well, fine. Anyways, um, so the next few items, or it's actually a kit, I'm super happy about it. I'm so, so happy that I bought this. I don't know how I've been putting my makeup without this before. This one seriously gives me a... Uh, airbrush makeup look and these are my uh, Sigma Kabuki kit and I absolutely love this um, I got the round top Kabuki F82 comes with the taper Kabuki F86 um, angle top Kabuki and um, flat top synthetic Kabuki and seriously my favorite like I don't really care as much for the angle top Kabuki I kind of did use it as a bronzer, but I already, I don't, maybe I gotta watch their Sigma video again on how they would want us to use this, because I think these brushes are just so similar, um, what I basically do is I use my flat top synthetic kabuki, I use this to just put on my Revlon photo ready, and I don't know why I do it this, do this, but uh, for the round top kabuki I put more of my high end product uh, foundations on using this. And basically, um, for the Tabor Kabuki, since I can't afford the Precision Kit yet, I really seriously want to buy those small little brushes as well because I feel like it's the smaller Tabor one is perfect for concealing, and I just really, really want those. But since I cannot afford that, I use the Tabor Kabuki for uh, my concealer. I know it's like really, really fat, but I'll just like still try to somehow work with this because it is tapered but I'm really really happy about this like I said I don't know what I or how I even put my makeup without it so um yeah actually they said if you spend over thirty dollars on Sigma you get a free gift and my free gift from them was a blending brush E25 and it's dirty like my brushes here are dirty as well because I used it this morning yeah, I seriously use like, or actually, I don't use, I don't clean my brushes every day. I clean them maybe once a week or twice a week. I know it's kind of nasty, but you know, kind of get busy sometimes. So, anyways, I seriously love this blending brush that they gave. I just really love it. So I'm really happy with all my purchases so far. Uh, minus some of the, you know, Milani big bronzer and stuff like that. But, um, my best product recommendation, please try this out. If you guys always just use high-end foundation, and if you guys do already use HD foundation and you know that thing is just way too expensive, please go ahead and try this out. Alright guys, um, just so you guys know, I have this color in Golden Beige 008. So, yeah. That's actually it for my videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions at all, just let me know. Um, hopefully I'll have enough time to link everything that I've talked about on the description box. But if not, please forgive me. Um, thanks. Please subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. Um, I'll see you guys, or I'll talk to you guys probably on my Hits and Misses video next. Okay? Bye, guys.